Hello, this video is going to be all about speakers and specifically the LS50 speakers from Kef that I've been proudly having in my studio for the last few years. It's also going to be about another pair of speakers that you might be able to see. With their striking gold coloured drivers, they've not just been a part of my music production process. They've also formed a kind of visual aesthetic for my videos. But as you can see, they're not here anymore and in their place are these Yamaha HS8s. And in this video, I'd like to talk a little about both pairs of speakers, why I changed the LS50s, and how I've been getting on with the HS8s for my production work. So the LS50s, they are primarily designed for the hi-fi market, but they can and they do work really well as a studio monitor. And that's largely thanks to their UniQ driver, which mounts the tweeter in the center of the bass driver. And it's really effective, especially at delivering a balanced and even sound across a broad listening position, which makes them work well in the near field position. Now, as I say, I've had my LS50s for a few years and really enjoy using them, and they do sound lovely, but I was beginning to have a couple of issues. Firstly, being primarily designed for enjoyment, they can sometimes smooth over certain details and therefore mask mixing mistakes. And I guess as my production skills have increased, so have my demands on a studio monitor. But secondly, they're also passive, which means they need an external amplifier to drive them. And crucially, in my case, that amplifier had no electromagnetic shielding. And with all of the equipment that I've now got in here, it was picking up a lot of annoying interference noise. And that's where the HS8s come in, because they're self-powered, they are effectively shielded, and they're designed first and foremost for near-field monitoring in the studio. Now, my studio here is tiny, not much more than six feet square. So you might think that the eight inch driver in the HS8, which is quite large, would be overkill for this size of room. But honestly, that's not the case at all. And in fact, I believe that when you're listening in the near field position and at low volumes, as I do, you're hearing almost all direct sound, not much reflected sound from the room. And for me, the HS8s in here sound excellent. Solid clean bass that isn't at all boomy, great mid-range and really detailed highs. And they've been on the market now for a number of years. I guess I'm a bit late to the party, but I can see now why they are so popular. Are they any better than the LS50s as a studio monitor? 100% yes they are, they're brilliant. But are they any better as a hi-fi speaker for listening in comfort from greater distance? No, not in the slightest. One small gripe I have with the HS8s is the bright white LED at the front, which is actually quite annoying. I've covered mine up with a couple of layers of purple light gel just to tone them down a little bit, and I think it's okay now. These are still considered affordable monitors. In my opinion, unless you have a perfect room, spending much more money might not make a lot of sense. And that's why I think it's still important, at least for me, to use these in conjunction with some great quality pairs of headphones. And if you'd like to know what headphones I use and why, then you might want to watch this video next. Also, if you fancy checking out my version of Vangelis's Chariots of Fire, that will be here and YouTube will decide what video it thinks you'd like to watch next here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.